boys and girls and welcome to Grand Guitar and to a very cool song here from Chris Webby and Ren. This is called Baggage, all right? So Chris Webby, I'm not sure if we had him before, not even Ren. And uh, yeah, I would just like to highlight Ren, his um, great, great artist. He kind of blew up for a year ago or so. He was just uh, an underground artist. Now he really rises from that and he's uh, performing really well, different songs. So check him out as well. Chris Webby, Ren, nice collab there. Baggage, let's take a look at this one with Capo on the second fret, all right? So with that, we have, we have six chords, yes. So let's go over the chords first and then go into the melody and all that good stuff. So starting with E minor and that goes Open E, 2nd A, 2nd D, open G, open B, and open E. We have D next, so that is open D, 2nd G, 3rd B, and 2nd E. We have the A, C chord next, and that's a uh, bar error in the 2nd fret, and that's uh, basically where you get the A, and then you need to add a 4th fret on the A string, and that's the C sharp note, so A, C, hence the name, so that will be 4th on A, 2nd on D, 2nd on G, 2nd on B, and yeah, try to avoid the last E string there if you bar that one, stay with the strumming in the mid area. That's the A C chord, next is C, and that is 3rd on A, 2nd on D, open G, 1st B, and open E, then we have A minor, and that's Open A, 2nd D, 2nd G, 1st B, open E, and then we have the B chord. We'll just go with the mid strings there because we're gonna chew on them in the same way as A minor. So, 2nd on A, 4th on D, 4th on G, and you can stay with the open B as well. Doesn't matter, we're gonna stay with this chewing style here, playing downs fast. Anyway, we'll come to that. First, let's take a look at the melody. And the main part and melody is built upon the four chords E minor, D, A, C, and C. So we're gonna look at the melody chord by chord, starting now with E minor. So it goes like this. It's just open notes here, open strings. So you're gonna start with open E in the bass together with open high E. Then open G. Then open high E, open B, and open high E. That's it, so. Then comes the D. That is to play open D string together with third B, then open G, then open high E, and open B. And a little pause there. That's the D part. Then we have the A C chord. Now the grip will be fourth on A and then second on B. That's the grip you want for this melody based uh, part here in the song. You're gonna play this part. So that is to play fourth on A to get with second B. Open G, open high E, then open B and back to 2nd B. And then you take the very same grip and move it one fret away from you to get this position, that's the C part. So you're gonna play this. So that is 3rd fret on A together with 1st B. Then open G. Then open high E. Then open B and 1st B. And that's the end of the melody. So slowly, one round goes like this. And standard tempo. So there we have the melody 
and uh, now let's go into the strumming so uh, for playing the strumming here we're going to use the same chords of course the e minor d the a c and c now with the full grips and if you grab the e minor first one string around will be down down up clap up down so down down up clap up down Okay, you're gonna play one of these string rounds per chord. So that will be E minor D, A, C, and C, one. And I can just mention here, you can go with the D chord we learned, but you can also go with the D sus version, and that is to get the open E string instead of the second D. So you lift that off, and then will the open E follow in all of these chords. So it'll be E minor, then D, then, and then for the A, for the C there, and then so, that would be one route to go with the D sus version instead of D. So it's up to you if you use to get the D, then do that. But I would prefer to go with the sus version with the open E string instead of the second. All right. So uh, yeah, you're gonna play like that. And then I want, just want to mention we have the A minor and B thrown in there in two times in the song. First time is 38 seconds into the song. So as soon as you play the A, C, and C. At that 38 second mark, you're gonna play A minor, 16 fast down, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. and then you go to B and play 9 fast down, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and the pause. And these two chords, A minor and B, they work as a build up for the rest that comes, alright? So it builds up for the chorus or whatever comes later. So this happens two times in the song, 38 seconds in the song, and that is where the rap starts there, and then it happens again at two minutes sharp. That's just before Ren starts his rap parts. So A minor 16 downs, then B sus 9 downs and the pause. And then you go either with the melody or the strumming, and you can go back and forth with that. So that's pretty much how you handle Chris Webby's and Ren's Baggage. Cool, cool song. Give it a try, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to support me here on Gordon Guitar, of course. Till next time, play tuned.